Eileen has always been the one to share her life stories, hoping it can help others understand and feel they are not alone. From childhood trauma to her relationships, Eileen has faced several problems in her life. And her first two marriages were an absolute mess too. So today, we'll be looking into the real reason she left her ex-husband, John Lindstrom. Watch till the end to find all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to Trend Street. Eileen Davidson has been in the soap for decades and decades. She first came into the industry when she was casted as Ashley Abbott in Young and the Restless back in 1983. Although she originated the role, she decided to take a break from Y&R in 1988 and even recommended the producers to hire a lookalike of hers that she found herself. We're talking about Brenda Epperson, who filled in the shoes of Davidson for a solid eight years. At the time Davidson was not in Y&R, she was popping up in various soaps, like Santa Barbara, Days of Our Lives, including some main roles in the slasher film, The House on Sorority Row, and Easy Wheels. So after some pretty successful runs on shows, and collecting five Daytime Emmy nominations, Davidson finally made a comeback on Y&R, in 1999. Since then, we have seen Eileen's character go through from relationships to relationships, traumas, and many more. Currently, she is literally killing it with her multiple personality disorder storyline too. We're getting different sides of Ashley, one is a teenager, while the other is hell-bent on getting her revenge from Tucker. Ashley is surprising us with her non-stop alter egos. Now, if this doesn't get Davidson an Emmy nomination next year, we don't know what will. By the way, this alter personality disorder is something she connects to in real life as well. Maybe that's a reason she's been playing it so realistically. In a podcast, State of Mind, with Maurice Bernard, she shared a lot about her dad's struggle with bipolar disorder and how it affected her growing up. As a kid, she saw him switch from being the sweetest and the best father to completely ignoring her for six months. His constant changes were tough, especially since her mom was also dealing with the trauma of being an incest survivor, forcing everyone to walk on eggshells. Home, which should have been her safe haven, felt like a scary, trapped place, and she sometimes even wished her dad was dead. As she got older, her perspective shifted, and she began to see her dad as a hero who worked hard despite his struggles. Strangely enough, she feels their relationship is better now that he's passed away. Despite a traumatic childhood that she is still dealing with sometimes, she's now in a much better place, happier than ever, with a loving family and husband. However, finding the right one took two marriages. The first was just messy, while her second marriage was surrounded all over with controversy. Davidson got married to her first husband and actor, Christopher Chip Mayer, back in 1985. Their marriage fell apart quickly, with the couple separating just six months later. However, the legal divorce process dragged on for another year, which brought out a lot of their issues to light. According to court documents, both Eileen and Chip had restraining orders against each other. The specifics of what went down between them weren't detailed in the documents, but it was clear they were ordered to stay away from one another. Fast forward to 2016, Eileen opened up about a tough part of her past on an episode of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, revealing that she was a survivor of domestic abuse. She didn't name her abuser, but many suspected it might have been Chip. So after her first marriage ended up with a restraining order, she found a second chance at marriage with John Lindstrom. But sadly, that didn't work out either. Lindstrom has been a pretty famous face on our TVs for decades for his portrayal as twins, Ryan Chamberlain and Kevin Collins, on The General Hospital. John Lindstrom and Eileen Davidson were married from 1997 to 2000, and though their time together was brief, it was packed with drama. They first met in 1994, introduced by a mutual friend. There weren't immediate sparks though. Davidson didn't seem keen on starting anything with Lindstrom back then. They didn't start dating until four months later, when they ran into each other at a charity fundraiser. From there, things moved quickly. Lindstrom and Davidson didn't waste time getting serious. Their relationship took a big leap during an argument on a ski trip in April 1996. Amid their heated discussion about where they stood, they spontaneously decided to get married. In an interview with Soap Hub, Lindstrom recalled, We were still arguing, and it became, I love you. No, I love you damn it, let's get married. Reflecting on it, he said they were frustrated and were mad at being at the midway point between a commitment and not knowing what it was. But once they decided to commit to the relationship, everything fell into place. Three years after engagement, they exchanged vows on May 3 in 1997 in a small ceremony in Cambria, California, surrounded by family and friends. Lindstrom later shared with Soaps in depth how their relationship felt more straightforward and enjoyable after marriage, calling it the next logical step. He added that it made things more fun and easier. However, their happiness was short-lived. By November 2000, Lindstrom filed for divorce after just three years of marriage. 
He made it clear there were no hard feelings between them and that they were ending things on good terms. In his statement, Lindstrom emphasized, this is an amicable situation. We remain the best of friends and hope that people will respect our privacy during this time. He even told people that there's an attraction between them but he just didn't see a future in it. Looking back, their relationship was a mix of highs and lows. From an unremarkable first meeting, to a passionate yet impulsive decision to marry, Lindstrom and Davidson's story was anything but ordinary. And while they said they were still friends, it was the aftermath that caused quite a drama. Just a month after John Lindstrom filed for divorce, his ex-wife Eileen Davidson was already sparking romance rumors with her young and the restless co-star, Vincent Van Patten, who played the role of Christian Page. Apparently, she first met Van Patten on the set of The Young and the Restless in 2000, when they were still married to their significant others. Vince was playing as Ashley Abbott's boyfriend from 2000 to 2003. According to Radar Online, an eyewitness spotted them jetting off to Las Vegas, telling Star Magazine that they looked like they were in disguises, clearly trying not to get recognized. No wonder, since Van Patten was still married to his first wife, Betsy Russell, at the time. Sources were buzzing that Eileen and Vincent had been having an affair for months and were madly passionate for each other. Eventually, Davidson and Van Patten got together for real after he split from Russell in 2001. In 2016, Eileen came clean in an episode of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Season 5, confirming the affair rumors. She admitted, I knew he was married and I was married, and I was totally respectful of that. But whatever, we just kind of fell in love. She also said she came clean to Lindstrom about her feelings for Van Patten before their split, telling him, this isn't good, we've got to separate. She also revealed that she and Vince never really cheated on their significant others while they knew each other, although they did share a kiss. So, in 2003, Davidson and Van Patten finally tied the knot and have been together ever since. They even gave birth to their son, Jesse Thomas, that same year. As for Lindstrom, he later married Emmy-winning soap star, Katie McLean, on Valentine's Day in 2014. The couple met on the set of As the World Turns, back in 2010. Sadly, a couple of months ago, they both decided to put an end to their marriage of 10 years. They both announced it on their Instagram in April 2024, saying, it may be obvious to some, based on our posts, that we've taken some time apart. After serious consideration, we have decided that our goals have been taking us in different directions, and to end our marriage. Eileen had to go through a few marriages to find her true love, but she finally did when she met Vince. They might have started on the wrong foot, falling for each other while still married to others, but it was all worth it in the end, for the wonderful family they have now. Though she still sometimes faces some criticism from others, she's actually glad she married the love of her life. All's well that ends well, right? And don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below too! Thank you for checking this video out. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. Turn that bell notification on if you want to hear from us and comment down below if you've subscribed and we'll make sure to reply and thank as many of you as we possibly can.